everybody. Right. One, two, three. Hi, Lauren. My name is Dr. Atkins. I'm one of the residents. I'm going to help take care of you today. All right. A lot of things going to happen real fast here, okay? A lot of people are going to be taking care of you. The trauma center at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia treats more than a thousand trauma cases each year, many referred from emergency rooms throughout the region. As hard as you can, both sides. Squeeze this side too. Squeeze them both. Trauma across the board is a very common reason for a child to come to an emergency room. Trauma is the leading cause of death uh, for all children in the United States, far surpassing any other cause. This is absolutely not just a glorified emergency department. We're activating a whole team of people. Pressing on your back, does it hurt here? Level 1 trauma centers require that there's a certain team on the ground and available in the hospital when an injured child arrives. Some patients might go from here directly to the operating room. We will take the child to the operating room on the day of their injury or the day after their injury, and that's been a dramatic, positive improvement. After surgery, patients go to one of CHOP's inpatient units. Here, the expertise of the trauma nursing staff comes together with many disciplines to provide care for the child and the whole family. We do quite a bit of one-on-one -on -one education with the parents at the bedside about how they're going to care for their child. We send parents home with amazing care skills so they don't stay in the hospital as long as they used to because they become part of the treatment team. All of these injuries are preventable and many of them are predictable as well. So we'll educate the family about the specific injury that they have, how it could have been prevented, how they're going to prevent it in the future. Great, you got yourself a new helmet. Our ultimate dream in all of trauma is to be out of business. If we could prevent injuries, that would be ideal. If we can lessen an injury, that's progress. If we can prevent a death, that's progress. We learn every single day from the children we treat. It's really something that we can do something about, either through prevention or through giving the best possible care.